Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to our Ertzayan online class. Today we will start from chapter 4 lesson 1. It is about energy and mineral resources. So, uh, first of all, let me explain you the difference between renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources can be replenished over relatively short time spans such as within months, within years, or decades. But non-renewable resources can be replenished, but the process that create them are so slow and can up to uh, millions of years to accumulate. The source of energy uh, can be non-renewable and renewable. Fossil fuel radioactive substances, they are called non-renewable energy resources. And biomass, winds, water, suns, and geothermals, they are called non-renewable uh, resources. Okay, let's study about nuclear energy. So nuclear energy uh, can be divided into nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion. For nuclear fusion, it's the process of uh, fusing of two atoms into small atoms into uh, large atoms or heavier atoms. And during the process, energy is released. Uh, in the sun, there is nuclear fusion, so uh, hydrogen fuses into helium and energy is produced in the core of the sun. For nuclear fusion, uh, is the process of splitting atoms, means large atoms uh, is split into smaller atoms and uh, huge energy is produced and uh, this process uh, is used to generate electricity. So we create energy uh, in uh, this process. So uh, this is a reactor. So it is the place where uranium is, uh, is placed to generate uh, nuclear energy. Then uh, it creates heat and this heat uh, turns into steam. This steam generates turbine here to produce electricity. Then steam becomes water and this is uh, hot water but there is a, a, a thing that can cool down this water and release into this uh, cooling tower. You can see these kinds of tower in some country, this is a place where they generate nuclear energy. In the process of nuclear energy, uh, advantages and disadvantages can occur. For advantages of nuclear energy are uh, produce huge energy, mean replenish for many uh, times and very long times, and can be substituted uh, for safe fuel and has little impact on the environment if we can control it uh, correctly. But it also provides uh, disadvantage, uh, disadvantages like need to be controlled strictly and after use it contains radioactive waste that can uh, harm to human beings and the cost to build uh, the the plan is very expensive. About solar energy, uh, the term solar energy generally refer to direct use of sun ray to supply energy for the need of people. And uh, sun energy is the main source that we use directly by heat or uh, light. Solar energy. Uh, can be uh, passive solar energy and active solar energy. The simplest 
and perhaps most widely used is passive solar collector and that allow uh, light to get into a house then this this light warm the house in cold climate and this process is called uh, passive solar collector but uh, this house uh, has large window and in summer so lights cannot get into the house and in winter lights easy to uh, to get into the house and thermal energy is produced so they can warm uh, the house and use less uh, electricity in the house another type is uh, active solar collector I mean uh, these systems uh, provide hot water and generate electricity and this is uh, a process that use uh, solar cells or solar panel to generate electricity. You can see here this is solar collector uh, that uh, focus sunlight into uh, collector pipe here and this pipe filled with fluid and the heat used to make steam and dry turbine somewhere uh, to generate electricity and this is called photovoltaic cells turn solar radiations directly into uh, electricity you can see this kinds of uh, solar panel in our country now we build this kinds of solar panel that is called a uh, clean uh, equipment that can produce uh, a lot of energy solar energy uh, has pros and cons so uh, for pros solar energy is a kind of renewable energy uh, can reuse electric stick bill because uh, when we can produce it, it is cheap and uh, they can use with many ap applications uh, to produce electricity and low maintenance cost and it is a kind of technology development for the cons or disadvantages of solar energy uh, cost mean very expensive the equipment is very expensive and it depends on weather if it is sunny day it can produce a lot of energy if it is rainy day it produce less energy and solar energy storage is very expensive because it need battery so battery need to replace for some time but it depends on the lifetime of the battery and it is very expensive and it uses a lot of space to install the solar panel and associated with pollution although uh, it is a, a, a called green energy but uh, when this we dispose this equipment it can pollute the environment about wind energy uh, air has mass and when it moves it contains energy of motion called kinetic energy so a portion of the energy can be converted into other forms uh, that we can use to perform work so uh, this is called farm windmills and commonly used for pumping water in rural uh, area and this is called wind turbine and we uh, connect to turbine here to generate electricity. This is called a wind turbine farm. Advantages and disadvantages of wind energy. For advantages are uh, it is a kind of green energy, enormous potential to produce energy, renewable, space efficient. That means uh, we can install uh, wind turbine anywhere and uh, we need a little space although it is in the forest or at uh, any uh, place that uh, is useless 
and rapid growth. Now, a wind turbine is mostly used. Now, it increased five, uh, 25% uh, every year. And it, it's said to be a low cost operational. And for disadvantages, uh, it is unpredictable. So that means uh, when wind is strong, we can create a lot of energy, but if wind is uh, weak, so we reduce a less energy. When we install a wind turbine, it can stretch to the wildlife, create noise. However, some people reported that uh, don't like uh, wind turbine because it is not a good look. Hydro energy. So water flow, tidal wells, and ocean wells can generate electricity. Like this one, it is a kind of dam that was built to generate electricity. This is called a uh, hydroelectricity dam. Uh, this is uh, Cambodia's new 400 megawatts lower season two. Uh, just just build now. Okay, about tidal power. So, okay, let's see this video how to uh, generate electricity from tidal wells. Tidal power. Tidal power is a form of hydropower that converts the energy from the natural rise and fall of the tides into electricity. Tides are caused by the combined effects of gravitational forces exerted by the moon, the sun, and the rotation of the earth. Tidal plants can only be installed along coastlines. Coastlines often experience too high tides and too low tides on a daily basis. The difference in water levels must be at least 5 meters high to produce electricity. Tidal electricity can be created from several technologies, the main ones being tidal barrages, tidal fences, and tidal turbines. Tidal barrages are the most efficient tidal energy sources. A tidal barrage is a dam that utilizes the potential energy generated by the change in height between high and low tides. This energy turns a turbine or compresses air, which in turn creates electricity. Tidal fences are turbines that operate like giant turnstiles, whereas tidal turbines are similar to wind turbines, only underwater. In both cases, electricity is generated when the mechanical energy of tidal currents turns turbines connected to a generator. The generator produces electricity. Ocean currents generate relatively more energy than air currents because ocean water is 832 times more dense than air and therefore applies greater force on the turbines. Tidal power is easy to install and renewable, having no direct greenhouse gas emissions and a low environmental impact. Because the ocean's tidal patterns are well understood, tidal energy is a very predictable energy source, making it highly attractive for electrical grid management. This sets it apart from other renewables that can be more unpredictable. However, adoption of tidal technologies has been slow, and so far the amount of power generated using tidal power plants is very small. This is due largely to the very specific site requirements necessary to produce tidal electricity. Additionally, tide cycles do not always match the daily consumption patterns of electricity, and therefore do not provide sufficient capacity to satisfy demand. That's tidal power. Then next video is about uh, well power. Okay, let's see the another video to to know how to get energy from wells to generate electricity. Wave energy is created by the movement of the ocean surface. When a wave rocks a boat back and forth, it's doing work. That energy can be captured and used to generate electrical power. If harnessed properly, it has the potential to provide 10% of the world's energy needs. The three most common methods to harness wave energy are attenuators, overtopping systems, and point absorbers. The attenuator rig sits upon the ocean surface, giving it a snake-like appearance. Each section is connected by a joint that allows the attenuator to undulate along each wave. The movement of the wave pushes and pulls hydraulic cylinders, causing fluids to compress into high-pressure accumulators, creating an electrical current. The attenuator was the first wave power generator implemented for commercial use and has the capability of powering up to 500 homes per unit. 
In March 2003, a European team in Denmark launched a floating 237-ton prototype utilizing an overtopping system. The overtopping works like this. When a wave approaches the rig, two wave reflectors guide the water to the center and up a curved ramp into the reservoir where the water is stored. From there, it's run through several hydro turbines. The water pressure spins the turbines, and the energy is converted into electricity with a magnetic generator. Overtopping rigs can withstand environmental hazards fairly well. The rig was designed to be large and heavy to combat any rolling and pitching. The low floating and heavy design allows giant winds and waves to simply pass over the rig. Another way to collect wave energy is using a point absorber. A point absorber works using a buoy that floats above the water to generate power. A giant shaft is anchored to the sea floor with the buoy secured on top. As the buoy moves up and down with the waves, the pumping action is converted into electricity. A single unit can generate enough power for 40 homes. The next generation is predicted to generate four times that amount. Put them together in a farm and a power plant is born. With further research and development, wave energy just might become a major contributor to the team of Renewable Energy All-Stars. Okay, I think uh, you learned a lot about the way to get energy from water. Okay, so hydro energy provides advantages and disadvantages too. Well, advantages are uh, the kinds of renewable energy, clean energy, cost particular energy, mean it can uh, last long time and uh, can be recreational opportunity like uh, when you build them, it can be the place for fishing, swimming or boating. But uh, the disadvantages also has a lot, like uh, environmental damage when you build a dam, it can affect the environment, can uh, high cost to make dams, and may lead to droughts for the up, uh, for the uh, lower dam, and cause flood for the upper dam, and. Uh, during the process, it can uh, produce carbon dioxide, methane, and uh, this carbon dioxide and methane are called greenhouse gases that can warm our air called global warming. This occurs when uh, the plants on the upper dam uh, decompose. Then about biomass energy. Biomass is the organic substance of organisms such as plants and animals. The source of biomass can be uh, forest, uh, can be from industrial residue, can be agricultural crops and residue, can be from sewage water, can be from animal residue, or can be municipal solid waste at the dam field. So biomass is organic substances of organisms such as plant and animal. Wood biomass can be burned to produce energy. Biofuel like alcohol, uh, ethanol, a biodiesel can be used to uh, to uh, generate electricity or can be used as oil for vehicle and like car they use in some country and municipal waste contain biomass uh, that can it can that can produce energy like methane for cooking gas biomass energy uh, give advantages like uh, it is a kind of renewable, can uh, widely available, uh, you can find anywhere, can uh, can be uh, energy that uh, cause carbon neutral. That mean uh, we don't use uh, more fossil fuels, so we can uh, balance our carbon. But when a plant grow, so it also can be used in many forms, uh, like uh, gas or burn directly, 
and have to reuse space. Uh, for disadvantages like not totally clean when you burn, uh, it can produce carbon dioxide and can lead to devastation when you cut uh, tree a lot and inefficient mean uh, it's difficult to generate electricity sometimes. The last renewable energy resources is geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is harnessed by tapping new uh, natural underground reservoirs of steam and hot water. This occurs where uh, subsurface temperatures are high and geothermal energy is put into use in two ways, steam and hot water. So this is a process to uh, generate uh, geothermal energy. So uh, the hot water underground is uh, in inject steam to power turbine, and the turbine generate electricity to homes, and the cooling water is ejected back into the ground. Then it is it is heated again, become uh, steam and the cycle take place again and again. Geothermal energy also uh, give advantages like renewable energy, environmental friendly, massive potential when we have uh, heat underground, it is stable, very stable and great for heating and cooling. But uh, the disadvantages also like uh, when you drill a well to get uh, hot water, it uh, releases sulfur dioxide, uh, silica, mercury, arsenic, and boron's that can harm to environment. And another uh, disadvantage is surface instability. Mean uh, when you uh, drill into the ground it can create earthquake sometimes when you pump water so it can create earthquake and the process to uh, build the engine is very expensive and it has only specific in specific locations not in every country okay thank you for watching uh, i hope you enjoy learning a lot about the renewable energy resources. In the next uh, lesson, you will learn about uh, non-renewable uh, energy resources. So after uh, watching this video, don't forget to answer some questions in another section. Uh, okay, please uh, try your best. Thank you for watching.